Get on the ground! Get on the ground! Get on the ground now! Hi everyone, Donut here. Today we're going to be breaking down a gun battle between Oregon State Police and some dirtbag who just woke up one morning and chose violence. The unfortunate thing for said dirtbag is that this motherfucker woke up and chose violence against the wrong state trooper. We got a couple of body camera angles, we got a huge gunfight between the two people, state troopers got some really good reloads, and in the end, the bad guy lost. Let me go ahead and thank you guys one more time for watching my stupid ads. Because of that, I've been able to give tens of thousands of dollars to police charities the past year. Year. With that being said, our sponsor for this video is my bookie. Let's do this shooting. Monday, April 10th, 2023, about 8.42 a.m. in the morning. It's the morning, so a bunch of people are commuting to work up on the I-5 when suddenly they see a man standing in the middle of the road with a gun. The trooper doesn't see this man yet, though. Oregon State Police Trooper Andrew Tuttle was on duty and driving up I-5. He sees a semi-truck stopped in the middle of the road and was like, hey, I gotta go help that driver. So he calls it in. He says, hey, I'm gonna go help this dude stalled in the middle of the road because I'm f***ing awesome. He pulls up, but instead he sees a guy walking down the road with a gun. Not only did he have a gun in his hand, he was pointing it at other motorists. At one point, he even tried to open another motorist door and carjack them. The trooper puckered up a little bit, but he was like, hey, I gotta protect and serve. If you look closely right there, there was a blue flash across the truck driver's front windshield. The dude who's holding the gun has a little blue laser on it, cause he's trash at shooting. If only the truck driver would have swerved and just ended this before it started. Hey, if someone points a gun at you, it's completely legal to run them over. At least in Texas. I would check on that. If someone's pointing a gun at you in a car, pull your phone up and Google whether you can run them over or not. As soon as Trooper Tuttle pulls up, the guy's like, oh sh**, I probably shouldn't be doing this in front of a cop, and he takes off running into the ditch beside the interstate. You can see that right here on the dash cam. Get on the ground! Get on the ground! Get on the ground! Get on the ground now! Get on the ground! We're gonna go over to the body camera real quick and you can see that the trooper automatically gets out and starts telling him to get on the ground. Get on the ground! Get on the ground! Get on the ground! Get on the ground now! Get on the ground! The guy's still got the gun in his hand and he's walking away saying something I, I can't hear him. It sounds like he's saying shoot or I, I don't really know. The trooper is very patient with him despite him having a gun in his hands and the trooper seeing him pointing the gun at cars. You guys ready for some pucker factor? In a split second, the guy swings around and starts shooting at the officer. The officer falls into the ditch and you can still hear the suspect shooting at him. It didn't seem like the officer fired so many shots right there, but if you look at the body camera footage, it looks like he mag dumped the guy. The officer does some pretty good reloading right there. He mag dumps the guy again again, reloads and fires a couple of more shots, gets behind his car and starts calling in what's happening. You'll notice the officer said that he was hit by the suspect. Well, miraculously, he wasn't directly hit. He took a graze to his left arm. That guy really sucks at shooting. But he had a blue laser on it. Why didn't that work? If you look right here, there's another guy on the officer's left running towards him. Maybe not the best idea for someone to do, but that is a retired police officer and he's holding up his badge in his hand. That guy sees that the officer doesn't have backup yet, so he's going to help the officer. Okay. He's still moving, I was hit by something going on. I don't know why. You got a rifle in the gun, in the car? Yeah. You want me to get it or do you want me to hold him? I just went to Canada, I left my gun at home. You're going to Canada? I'm on my way to Canada, so you want me to hold him or you want me to get your rifle? Just, just stay back there. Okay. Can I, I see your badge again? Yeah, I'm retired out of Pierce County, Washington. 24, copy. 90, 9723, be advised. Traffic okay. call backed up from Tim Mission. Yeah, okay, I'm on. Traffic yeah, call backed up from the Turns out that guy worked several years for the Pierce County Sheriff's Department. That guy said, I was heading to Canada, so I left my gun at home. Man, Canada f sucks. The guy says, do you have a rifle? Do you have anything in here that I can help you out with? The officer says, let me see your badge one more time, checks it out, reaches down, gets his backup pistol out of his boot and hands it to the other retired deputy. Risky, but kind of f***ing cool. After a couple of seconds of the two men keeping their guns pointed at the suspect, backup arrives. Backup arrives in the form of a dude with a dope ass rifle, but no magazine. Gabby, in the sea lane. I'm not 
bleeding. I was hit by something. He might have. Hey, do sweeps on him. I'll hold cover. Okay. You're not been hit at He's all. He's Pierce County. Okay, you're not hit at all. I was hit by something. In the okay. Do you feel any blood or no? Do not okay. reach for anything. Okay. He had something with a blue light that was pointing at me. Wait, wait, now that I'm looking, why are cops running around with 10 round magazines? Is that what that is? What are y'all doing up there? This isn't California. Anyways, let's take a look at the gunfight from the Troopers dash cam. Challenging one, two, five, four north. He's got a gun. Get on the ground now! Hey! <laughs> Challenging one, two, five, four north. He's got a gun. Get on the ground now! Hey! I'm hit! I'm hit! Throw it in! The end. Holy sh! That first volley looks like something out of a movie. Right here, you can see the blue laser pointing directly at the police officer. In his statements later on, he said the blue laser was in his eyes, blinding him. It turns out the suspect had a couple of felonies under his belt, like unlawful possession of a firearm, robbery in the second degree, evading a police officer, DUIs, assault in the third degree, and assault in the fourth degree. He is not a nice person, and this was not a nice thing for him to do. The officer ended up being treated immediately on scene, and the suspect he didn't make it. The suspect had been shot six times in his head, chest, and back. Well, everyone, that's all I have for you fine people today. If you would like to help support the channel, go over to donutoperator.com. You can get some super sweet merch there or follow me on any other platform. Please hit that like and subscribe button. YouTube doesn't like me. Until next time, everyone, please have a fantastic day. Back.